Well, my friends, it is that time of year. Minecraft Live is approaching, and yesterday we learned that the crab might be one of the mobs making its way into 1.20.1. It was the first of three mobs which we get to vote for leading up to Minecraft Live which takes place on the 15th of October. And today we learned that mob number two is the Armadillo. Now if you watch my video about the crab mob, I also covered a leaked playlist which was suspected to be fake. This suggested the other two mobs were going to be the seagull and the jellyfish. So it would seem that the crab was just a lucky coincidence. So there's going to be no jellyfish added. And no pesky seagulls to harass us when we want to go to sleep. Also, didn't Jeb describe these animals as cute? I don't think the crab or the armadillo would be on my list of cutest animals. So let's go ahead and take a look at the unveiling of the armadillo. So after some heavy breathing, we see that Jeb's boat was stopped by a block. But it's not a block, it's the armadillo. And it makes a, a little sound as it's startled, disrupted by the boat bumping into it. <laughs> so then Jeb goes on to explain that it drops scoot. This is what the item looks like, but this is how the word is spelt. Just double checking that I'm not mad and there's already scoot in the game. Of course, uh, an issue like this would probably be resolved. There wouldn't be two scoots. Maybe they'd come up with another name, or maybe it looks like this and it's just a color variation. Now, what's most interesting is the use for this scoot, which is craftable armor for wolves. That's right, your own pet dog in the game could have its own armor. And I think this might just be a very strong candidate. Being able to create armor for a mob that isn't the player just sounds like a really cool idea making your wolves a lot stronger, able to battle mobs and foes alongside you and keep them alive. Now, as we saw in the video, Jeb rode his boat into the armadillo, which to me suggests that it could be a block in the world. And I love the idea of an entity being able to transform itself into a block, park itself down, and other mobs and entities come by could startle it and turn it back into an entity again. I think this could be a very cool mob. Now, when it came to the crab, I made a joke about Minecraft encouraging you to kill animals to get the claws from the crab. And a lot of you in the comments pointed out that certain types of crabs actually shed their claws. So they might not need to be killed, but they simply drop when they turn into an adult. This is similar to how a baby turtle, when it grows into an adult, will pop out some scoot. So I speculate that something similar might be the case for the armadillo rather than just killing it. So for you knowledgeable nature buffs out there, please do let me know something interesting about the armadillo with a comment down below, because I'm going to guess it'll be a very similar thing. Maybe they shed their shell, and that will be the way that we farm the scoot from them. So of course, it's all speculation, but so far I think the armadillo really does seem like the stronger candidate, especially because of that wolf armor you're going to be able to create alongside with the armadillo itself. I think that one's going to be really popular. Anyway, make sure you subscribe so you can tune back in again tomorrow and find out what the third and final mob in this year's mob vote is. And if you're looking for some entertainment, I'm going to be live on Twitch right now when you're seeing this video waiting to play some decked out on the Hermitcraft server. So look for the link in the description box and head over there.